Hey everybody, how you doing? This is Barry, that Goat Metal Show, with the weekly recap. And we got some news. And of course, we got some metal machine shit. I know Trevor's gonna be happy out there, man. I know Trevor lives for metal machine chain, everybody else out there. <laughs> okay, first and foremost, I want to give everybody uh, thanks and uh, gratitude for uh, the new subscribers we just got. I want to thank you. I also want to thank Trevor Shredbeard for, uh, he had a live stream recently. I had sent him a couple of uh, downloads uh, so he could, you know, give do his little giveaways and stuff like that. So I got, had a couple of those winners reach out to me and they're very happy with it. So anybody interested, just make sure you go on Bandcamp and you can go and try to pick up, uh, I think we still got some physical copies left of the 30th anniversary for Go to Mentis. And if not, you know, you got your streaming platform there, you know, you can go over there and, and download those songs and enjoy them. Okay. Uh, I want to thank everybody again. We have reached over 1,100 subs. Thank you very much for that as we march towards 1,500. And when we do reach 1,500 subs, uh, we'll, be, we'll be having some type of, uh, you know, nice little giveaway we're going to try to do. And uh, the same thing for when we reach the... Uh, uh, when we get to 2,000, that's going to be a thing. We're going to have to, like, you know, just keep this thing going and, uh, you know, give give uh, thanks to everybody who's been subbing and enjoying the content. Thank you very much. All right, to the news. All right. Now, I want to, you know, of course, you see I got the big grandpa specs on. Unfortunately, my other glasses that I had, I seem to have lost them, man. The old man is going crazy. <laughs> Let me get to the news. All right. Now, White Chapel. Okay, uh, I, they, they came out with a new video for the single, uh, A Visceral Wretch. Okay, now, I'm going to tell you like this. Okay, and people have heard me talk about Whitechapel before. Um, I know that, you know, some people are not really into the whole, you know, deathcore thing and all that. I mean, people, you know, we've had our, our criticisms of bands and stuff like that. But Whitechapel was one of those bands I did enjoy when they first came out with their first two albums. Uh, then slowly but surely they started to like drift away, you know, and then they started doing some other stuff where they, you know, this guy wanted to sing and whatever. And I wasn't really too, uh, into, I wasn't into that at all. I just felt like if you are a brutal band, you stick to your brutalness. If you want to try to do something separate, go and do it separately. Keep that away from, you know, what the band is about. So according to, you know, to Phil and the rest of the guys, I guess they wanted to go back to that old school way. All right, and Phil made that clear that he was going back old school, and I saw the video, and I got to tell you, the video was fucking great. I really, really enjoyed it. It was fucking heavy. Uh, it, 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 you know, the thing I like about it is, is that it doesn't give you any of that uh, uh, exaggerated deathcore stuff that you know, a lot of these bands are doing. You know, they still got their their moments in there. You could hear, still hear the elements of their influence from death metal in there. They still do a good job with that. I really enjoyed the video. Check it out if you get a chance. All right. And then next, also, we have Merciful Fate will be re-releasing uh, a 40th anniversary full of the full length, uh, Don't Break the Oath. Uh, it's going to be coming out on No Break Records, I believe, November 1st. Uh, make sure you guys get get a chance to check that out, man. I mean, if you never had it, I mean, look, it's going to be on vinyl and, and all. Any, it's going to be repressed, and, and I'm sure it's going to be a fucking fantastic listen. I'm sure it's going to be remastered and all the good shit that comes with it, all right? Then we have guitar phenom Maya Nelakantin. I, I hope I'm pronouncing her last name right. Uh, she's, you know, big. Uh, I think she's about 11, 12 years old. Uh, fucking fabulous guitarist. I think she was on America's Got Talent. She has her own YouTube channel. She's got about 77,000 subs. She's doing her thing. Uh, turned out on uh, September 13th, she was invited by Testament to perform a song with them on the House of Blues in Vegas. And uh, she was on stage. Actually, the, the shit that's great about that is, you know, the, the, the whole footage is up. You can actually go see the video if you like. did a fucking fantastic job fantastic job man it was fucking phenomenal she killed it 
She was just there with them. And, and I can just imagine any young person who wants to go over there and play with your heroes has got to be a fucking fantastic thing, man. Congratulations to her, man. That was awesome. All right. Now we go to some metal bochinche. All right. The man known as Dave Grohl, all right, from Foo Fighters. Looks like my man is uh, doing some uh, naughty things outside his marriage, yo. Looks like uh, his mistress uh, ended up having a, a, his child. So he's got his love child. So, you know, and now he is all up Shit's Creek, man. And from what it looks like, his wife is not really uh, too too fond about this. Uh, he's having a whole shit, low, uh, shit fire with his family. You know, what a shame, man. I mean, you know, I, I hate to say that sometimes karma comes in mysterious ways. It's for Dave, man. And, you know, I'm not that you wish anything like that uh, about fucking up somebody's nucleus or their family. But he made a bad decision and now he's got to pay for it. Uh, all right. And then just recently, uh, James Addiction had an issue where uh, Perry Farrell, uh, the singer, punches Dave Navarro. Um, they said this was over in Boston on, uh, on, November, on September 13th from, you know, from Friday 13th. And, um, they seem to have been some type of altercation. Uh, they had the footage going on. They were doing their last song and, um, something happened on stage where they just started going at it. It's a shame because I think they had to go and cancel, I think, a show after that because of the issue. Uh, but I don't know, man. I mean, I'm not sure exactly. You know, I, I'm trying to get some of the insights on what the, the thing was about. Uh, I think it had something to do with something that Dave Navarro was doing on stage and this guy didn't like it. And they started fighting. Oh, well, I guess, uh, you know, we'll, we'll see how it goes from there. Uh, but, yeah, it's just... Uh, you know, it's a shame when you see band members go at it, especially in front of everybody like that. You know, if anything, you always take that to backstage or away from people. You know, you leave that shit out in the open like that. It's just going to cause more problems. But that's all I got right now, guys.